art and design should instill in pupils an appreciation of beauty and an awareness of how creativity depends on technical mastery. So what they're saying is art and design is simply about beauty on one hand and technical mastery on the other. One of the things that we want to tease out is a much more articulate response as to what art and design might be in order that then that can be transferred back into the redefinition of a national curriculum. My very provisional answers, and they're there to be debated, the art school is not about simply creating artists. That was the old 60s version of it, where the triumph or heroes of art were paraded in front of one and you aspire to be them. We now live in a completely different world where the art market has changed, many more people are taking art and design education, and we have to articulate other reasons as to why people are going to art school. I, th I think it's been really interesting to gather together a group of teachers and UAL academics to have a discussion around arts and design. People are saying arts being marginalised, so unless someone st has said standing up for the arts and being right, you know, what can we do to make arts better for everybody, never mind just the kids now, it's the kids down the line, isn't it? And What's is art, what can we make art um, for students, for the government, for everyone in terms of where we're going, you know, what, you know it's, it's like taking ownership over the whole thing. A very important part of our work is not just to support young people from what we call disadvantaged backgrounds, so lower income families, into university. The important part of what we do is, yes, we progress them into university, but we support them when they're here. Art school not simply being about the learning of technical mastery, as the curriculum says. It's much more about learning how to think, but using the creative processes, using art and design methodologies and approaches, and of course media, in order to discover how better to think. The landscape of materials and innovation has changed from being only centred around um, you know, science and the technical community and how the designers are beginning to bridge that and how they're beginning to actually develop their own new materials. The science community has a lot to learn from the creative industries and particularly in design in terms of innovating and applying materials and I think the, the country has a huge amount to uh, benefit from that collaboration between those two communities. I think that we need better methods of thinking. The linear, repetitive, dogmatic forms of learning which the national curriculum and the late enlightenment models still seem to be enforcing on people. They've been proved wanting mainly because when we look around us there seems to be no other ways of getting out of the societal and environmental crises that we're facing. We want to continue and make sure that we have a larger curriculum in the art and design school national curriculum because at the moment as we've heard from one of the uh, plenary panel the art and design curriculum is over four pages, that's it. Art such a massive part of everybody's and being creative such a massive part of everybody's lives. So the thought that it's other people don't care about it is quite shocking. Yeah. Well we began with the basics of theatre design but I've been creating film and photography. The great thing about art school education is it's porosity and its openness and you've only got to look at its history to see that countless people have been to art school and have developed in countless ways. It's not a place where you enter and it says painting over the door and you walk out as a painter. It's somewhere that you go to think very very openly, uh, quite riskily. It's not a place to tidily professionalise yourself. Uh, but it is a way to uh, mature yourself. Well, I'm gaining new skills, which I feel they may, they may not be relevant at the time, but as life goes on, then they become more relevant and I see how they benefit me. How do you come to own yourself in a way which is productive and, um, and considerate in all senses? It's pretty much what education means. Ultimately, it's a way for people to learn how to belong to themselves. And my belief very strongly is that the art and design school is the place where those new ways of thinking can lead to new ways of societal solutions.